The fourth question that we have, that's come on the WhatsApp as a message, is by Abdul Malik from Nigeria. Is wearing trouser above the ankle compulsory or a sunnah? A similar question is asked by Abdul Rahman, Kabul, Afghanistan. Is it allowed to wear clothes lower than one's ankle? As far as the question is concerned that is wearing your trouser above the ankle, is it a sunnah or is it compulsory? Or is wearing the trouser below the ankle, is it haram or is it makro? As far as whether wearing the trouser below the ankle is haram or whether it is makro, the scholars are divided. There are some scholars who say that wearing the trousers below the ankle is makru. That means wearing the trousers above the ankle is sunnah. While the other scholars say that wearing the trousers below the ankle it is haram and wearing above the ankle is a fartha. In all the four schools of thought, in the Hanafi school of thought, in the Maliki school of thought, in the Shafi school of thought, in the humbly school of thought, there are scholars, many of them who have said that wearing trousers below the ankle is makru or wearing above the ankle is sunnah, as well as there are scholars who say that wearing below the ankle is haram and wearing above the ankle is a fard. There are various hadith which speak about the subject of the idhar or the trousers or the lower garment below the ankle. The hadith in Sahih Bukhari. Volume number 7, hadith number 5787, where Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, says that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said that the izar, the lower garment that hangs below the ankle, is in the fire of hell. Rasai hadith, it's in Bukhari, and there are various Sai hadith in Bukhari, in Sai Muslim, and other books of hadith. It is further mentioned in Sayyid al-Bukhari, volume number 7, hadith number 5790, the Abdullah ibn Umar, may Allah be with him, he says that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said that once a man was walking with his izar trailing on the ground and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made him go beneath in the earth and he kept on going beneath till the day of resurrection. There is a hadith in Sahih Bukhari, volume number 7, hadith number 5791, Abdullah ibn Umar, may Allah be him, says that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said that anyone whose izar trails around on the ground with pride and arrogance, Allah will not look at him on the day of judgment. The hadith even in Sahih Muslim, it's mentioned in Sahih Muslim, volume number 1, Hadith number 293, where Abu Dhar may Allah be with him says that the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said that there are three categories of people who Allah will not speak to, who will not look at and will not sanctify. The Sahaba asked, who are these people? The Prophet said, the person who hangs his izar below the ankle. The person who reminds of the gifts he has given. And the person who sells his products with false oath. A similar hadith is mentioned in Sahih Muslim. Point number one. Hadith number 294. Where Abu Dharma Allah says that the Prophet peace be upon him said that Allah will not look at three types of people. The person who doesn't give gifts and reminds people of his generosity. A person who sells his products by false oath and a person whose izar hangs below the ankle. Now there are various hadith. There are hadith in Tirmidhi, in Abu Dawood, various hadith. Why are the scholars divided whether it is haram or whether it is makru? Because those scholars that say it is makru, they say that only keeping the trousers below the ankle Per se is not haram. If you do it with pride and arrogance, then it is haram. So if you only keep your trousers below the ankle without pride and without arrogance, it is not haram. 
it is makhru and they say that if there is a general hadith and a specific hadith the specific hadith takes prevalence should be followed rather than the general hadith so specific hadith says that trousers below the ankle with pride and arrogance then further they give the example of the hadith in which Hazrat Abu Bakr may Allah be pleased with him his trousers slips down and he tells to the Prophet that one part of my izar keeps on going down so my trousers go below the ankle so the Prophet replies we know that there is no pride in you so based on this those scholars who say that it is makru they say that only if your izar is below the ankle with pride and arrogance it is haram otherwise it's not haram and they also give the example of Ibn Masood that the hadith says that Ibn Masood his izar was low and he said that I am thin that's the reason I have worn the izar low so based on this they say that how come the sahabas that Abu Bakr may be with him the Prophet allowed him and told him that you don't have pride and Ibn Masood they said that now this group of scholars their argument is refuted by the other group of scholars who say that below the ankle is haram and they give the argument by saying that yes the specific hadith if you see there are various hadith there are several hadith which say only izar below the ankle the trousers below the ankle will be in hellfire and the prophet clearly mentioned whether it be your trouser whether it be your shirt kameez whether it be your thob whether it be your turban if it's below the ankle then it is haram where is hadith so what they say that this ruling here of specific and general does not apply because pride by itself is haram so if pride by itself is haram so whether you wear the trousers below the ankle with pride or without pride doesn't make a difference so wearing trousers below the ankle itself is haram because that is the sign of being proud and when our beloved Prophet Muhammad told to Abu Bakr may Allah be pleased with him that we know that you are not proud here we fail to realize that Abu Bakr he tied his trousers on the waist but because he had a paunch it kept on slipping and he kept on again tying it on top so here the main niya of Abu Bakr may Allah be pleased with him was to wear the trousers above the ankle it slipped down then again you put it on top it slipped down again you put it on top then the prophet says there is no sin on you we know that you are not proud in case of the other hadith of Ibn Masood may Allah be pleased with him there are several hadith we know the hadith of Abdullah ibn Umar may Allah be pleased with him that once the prophet tells him that when his trousers slips down below the ankle the prophet says put your trousers on top so Abdullah ibn Umar he ties his trousers above the ankle the prophet is more on top he ties more on top more on top again more on top and then Abdullah ibn Umar may Allah be with him told I never let my trousers below this point people asked him what was the point in which the prophet told you to keep the trousers so he said it was midway between my calf from the knee to the ankle mid calf so this is mustahab to wear the trousers on the mid calf is mustahab there is another hadith of Hudayfa may Allah be pleased with him where he says that the prophet cut his calf and said this is the position where your trousers should be anything below that is permissible as long as it is above the ankle below the ankle is haram so here we come to know that the mustahab level the best level of wearing the trouser is on the mid calf below the mid calf and above the ankle it is permissible it is mubah and below the ankle it is haram so when the hadith of Ibn Masood may Allah be pleased with him it was lower it doesn't say lower the ankle it doesn't say that his trousers is izar was below the ankle it says it was low so what we understand from this hadith it was lower than the mid calf and Ibn Masood may Allah be pleased with him says that because he is thin he preferred wearing it lower than the mid calf but not lower than the ankle nowhere that the hadith say that 
Ibn Masood, may Allah be pleased with him, wore the trousers below the ankle. It only says it was low. So what we have to understand, it was lower than the mustahab level of mid-calf. And imagine, do you mean to say, when the Prophet told Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with him, that we know that you are not proud, at the same time tells to Abdullah ibn Umar that you keep the trousers on top, put the trousers on top. Does it mean to say that the Prophet is trying to say that Abdullah ibn Umar, he was proud? May Allah be pleased with him. And the answer is no. That means that normally you have to keep the trousers above the ankle. If it slips down because of certain level, like because your tummy is big, then Allah will forgive you. From this we come to know, so those scholars who say it is haram, they say that if your intention is to wear the trousers above the ankle, and if it slips down because of the structure that you have, because of your paunch that you have, and then you put it on top again, if it slips down, then Allah will forgive you because the intention is to wear the trousers above the ankle. And there are several scholars. As I said, the scholars are divided. Some say it is makru. But all agree, it is minimum sunnah. If not haram, those scholars will say it's not haram to wear below the ankle. They agree it is mustahab and a very high level mustahab. That to wear the trousers above the ankle is a sunnah, if not a fard. And they say it's a very high level of sunnah. And to wear the trousers below the ankle, if they say it's not haram, they say it is makru and a very high level of makru. And as I mentioned, in all the four schools of thought, there are scholars who say wearing above the ankle is sunnah, below the ankle is makru. Yet there are scholars who say it is fard to wear above the ankle and it is haram to wear below the ankle. In the Hanafi school of thought, we have Maulana Ashraf Ali Thanvi, who says that all those who say that I can wear the trousers below the ankle without pride, they are wrong, that itself is pride. So he says that to wear it below the ankle with pride is a major sin. And to wear it below the ankle without pride is also a major sin. But wearing it with pride is a graver major sin than wearing it without pride. But even wearing it without pride, not only is it a sin, it is a major sin. In the Maliki school of thought, you have the scholar Ibn al-Arbi, who says the same thing, that wearing it below the ankle, wearing trousers below the ankle is haram. Anyone who says it is makru has then understood the hadith of the Prophet If you read the fatwas of the Shafi, for example, Ibn Hajar, Ibn Hajar Asqalani, he says that wearing below the ankle is haram and wearing above the ankle is a fard. Even if you read the fatwas of Imam al dhabi Imam al dhabi says that wearing below the ankle is not only haram, it is a major sin. And wearing above the ankle is a fard. And in his book, the Qabair, that is the major sins, he lists Isbal wearing the trousers above the ankle is a fard. Wearing it below the ankle, he says, is the 55th major sin. And some people who say that no, wearing below the ankle with pride is a major sin. In the same book, Kabair, he lists pride and arrogance as the 17th major sin. So if only pride and arrogance is 17th major sin and pride, arrogance with trousers below the ankle, how can that be number 55? It has to be higher. So this proves that the number 55 sin, Imam al dhabi is only talking about wearing trousers below the ankle. And major sin number 17 is only talking about pride and arrogance. If you have pride, even an atom's weight of pride, then Allah will put you in hellfire. And there are various sayhadith. So pride and arrogance is major sin number 17 according to Imam al dhabi and his book Qabayr. And wearing trousers below the ankle is major sin number 55. I personally agree with those group of scholars who say that wearing the trousers above the ankle is fard and wearing a trouser below the ankle is not only haram, it is a major sin. I agree with Imam al-Dhabi. 
And in the argument, I agree with Mo, with that group of scholars. Even if you read the humbly scholars, many of them say it is not haram, but you have various other scholars who say it is haram. And if you go to the scholars of the recent times or the recent past, there are many scholars who say it's haram. For example, Sheikh bin Baz, then Sheikh Muhammad Saleh Utaymi, Sheikh Abdullah ibn Jibreen, all these scholars according to them, wearing trousers below the ankle is haram and wearing trousers above the ankle is a fard. So as for your question is concerned, is it a sunnah or is it compulsory to wear above the ankle? According to me, I agree with those group of scholars and I believe their decision, their fatwa, that wearing above the ankle is a fard, I agree with that. Wearing below the ankle, it is haram. And I also agree with Imam Adhabi, including Ashraf Ali Thanvi, Maulana Ashraf Ali Thanvi, may Allah mercy on him. I believe that it is a major sin. That's the reason that all the staff in Bombay that we had, all the male staff, we had 500 staff, out of which more than 400 were males, that it was compulsory as a dress code in our office that all the staff had to wear their trousers above the ankle. It was compulsory. I know that it may look like a joker, especially if you're wearing a suit and wearing a tie. You know, if you wear a thob or if you wear idar, it may not look that bad. But if you're wearing a suit, it may look like a joker. No problem. So when people want to follow as a fashion, you know, in India, in the Bollywood, we had an actor by the name of Raj Kapoor. He wore trousers above the ankle. So we find many of the Indians started wearing above the ankle. I mean, who is Raj Kapoor to follow? The best example is the Prophet Muhammad The way he dressed. If you have to imitate anyone, the best person is the Prophet. So I agree with those group of scholars who say that wearing trousers above the ankle is a fard. And wearing trousers below the ankle is not only a sin, it is a major sin. Hope that's the question.